Dad. Yes. You're not in bed yet. No. Dad, there's something I want to say. Alright, go ahead. Early this morning, something happened in my room. What was it? Joshua, wake up. What is it, Mary? I'm not sleepy. Stand up, I want to show something. What is it you want to show me? Oh, God. What is it you want to show me at this time of the day? Ah. Oh. Stand up. Okay, wait, take it easy. I'll follow you. Wait. Secret to him belong unto the Lord our God. And what could be the secret thing? Look at me. Aha! Ah. Oh, oh my maker. Good morning. Good morning. Please. My sister is sick right now. And I need to take her to the hospital. Please. Please. Can you help me with 10 thousand now? I don't have any money with me. 10,000. Please. 10,000. Let me see. Let me see. You know what? Why not come tomorrow morning? Because I cannot currently lay my hands on anything right now. Yes. Let's come tomorrow morning. I'm on my way to the market. Okay. Yes. Tomorrow morning. Please. I beg you. I beg you in the name of God. Okay. You should just do it tomorrow morning. Yes, just come. By the same time, I, I will still wait for you. Yes. Please. Don't be offended. Yes, on my way to the market. I will just lay my hand on the car because I'm sure. I'm not. <laughs> and trouble but God it's your will for this sickness to be for me I prefer you take me home than to leave me alive in great pain Mimi shut up I don't want to hear such confession from you you won't go and it can't happen that way hmm? what makes you think so what is your assurance my assurance is that sickness in your body is a stranger and as far as I'm concerned, the stranger has an expiring date to leave. Are you getting me? Hmm. I am seeing a different thing. Let the will of God be done. The will of God will be done. And the will of God is that by this time tomorrow, all will be well. You will be fine, okay? So remember, confession brings progression. So I forbid you from making any negative confession. You hear? So let me get you something to at least eat and drink. See you after the service. Hope there's no problem.
Take. This is for you. What's that, sir? Take it. The services as the church accountant is no longer needed. Make sure you hand over everything in your possession, every official document and every other thing in your possession. Hand it over to Brother Jide before you leave. Please, sir. What have I done? You have done nothing. It's just that we can't allow murderers in the midst of the congregation. Murderers? We can't allow wolves in the midst of the sheep. Sir, I don't understand. Pretense will not help you in this matter. Pretense will not make me change my mind. And let me tell you, whatever is hidden will be revealed. And whatever you cover will be uncovered. Sir, I still don't understand. I'm confused about the whole matter. So you don't understand? You don't understand that there is nothing you are trying to hide that God will not expose, right? Hmm. Excuse me. Hello? Yes. Oh, how are you? Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in about 10 minutes time. Alright, thank you. Well, you have that. I have to be somewhere in 10 minutes time, so walk yourself out of my office. Thank you, sir. And remember to hand over everything in your possession to Brojiri. I will never, never allow corruption and pollution in this church. Never. You can't spoil the work of God in my hands. To see you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? Very well, thank um, you. Where are you coming from? I am coming from the market. And I'm really? going home, yes. Wow. I closed early today. Wow, yes. that's good, that's good. So yes. how was sales today? Ah, ah. Sales was wonderful, really. God was merciful. And I even had enough to spare for a brother who I, yes, I promised something. something. Uh, really? Yes. And who is the brother? Um, Emeka. Emeka. Which of the Emeka? Brother Emeka in our church group. Yes. Oh, you mean Emeka? Yes. Uh, he actually came to you for help. Yes. One yes. does they say will never end. Ah! What, what, what did you tell him? I, I told him to come tomorrow morning because he said he needed the money for his sister. She's very sick. Listen. Hey, he is lying! Yes! Mm. I don't see, let me tell you. Nobody helped Brother Emeka and ever remained the same. This is serious. What hey. are you saying? Let me tell you, Brother Uchi. Brother Emeka's head is cursed. Yes! Yes! Anyone who eventually helps him land himself into trouble. And this is. Mm. I don't understand. This is very serious. Yes! Mm -mm. Okay, what, so, so what thing will I do? What are you trying to say? <laughs> it is left for you to decide. It is left for you. <gasps> okay, since you... I'm aware of it right now. I know what to do. Good. Yes, because no one will steal fire and jump into it. Yes. Huh? I, actually, I'm only doing my, my best as a good brother in the church. You know, seeing a brother not to enter into a ditch. Eh? That is what I'm telling you. Well, I am going to the service. Take care of yourself. Thank you very eh? much. God will bless you. Thank you God very much. Eh? Thank you See very you much. Next time. Thank eh? you very much. Take care of yourself. Eh? I will. Eh? God bless you. Thank See you. you eh? Bye. This is serious. <laughs> Curse.
Kiva the trap Kiva the in your Bible in your Bible Give that lady go give that lady go a trap a trap and don't conclude my don't conclude for yourself for yourself this one that her face is like one that has just lost a lotto she won't collect it from me I better don't try it Thanks so much for the drink. Um, You're welcome. I'm really grateful. Very, very um, I think I need to rush along now. My sister, I told you now, she's, she's very sick now, and at, alone at home. Okay. At that, so, and I guess that's why you called me to have the money. So yes. please, can I have it now so I can rush down, please? Uh, wait, wait, wait. I actually called you here. You know, my maker, I really tried my best. Yes. I tried my You know, when, when, when God planned, it supersedes the plans of man. See, I tried, I went everywhere, put my hand in things that I should, you know, do the right thing. But well, it didn't work out. I tried, honestly. That is why I had to call you so that I do not linger till tomorrow morning. Yes. Please. Please, don't be offended. Eh? Ah. Thank God I would not allow another man's cause to, to affect my life. Is not looking bright. He didn't give me anything. In fact, as I am now, I don't know where to go and who else to meet for help. This pain is so much. This pain is so much for me to be. Yeah. You don't have to say anything. Okay? Hmm? I believe so. Very soon, you'll be fine. Hmm? Soon. Hmm? When? By this time tomorrow, I believe God. God can do something. Hmm? Just have faith in God. Faith. Yes. Faith. Have faith in God. Faith. Hmm? Yeah. What? My heart. What happened to your heart? My heart. What happened to your heart? No. No. What happened to your heart? What happened to your heart? No. No. God. See, see, I, no, no. Just see after me. See, I will not die. I will not die. I say it. I say it. Say I it. Come on, say it now. I yes. Yes. Go ahead. Say it. What? Mimi. 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 I said it. No. No. Die. Not just dying. That incident also affected the life of that brother, spiritually and physically. It would take only the grace of God for him to survive it. That brother needs to be stoned to death. He needs to die. Ah! Can I ask you a question? Sure, go ahead. Are you innocent? I don't understand. What kind of question is that? That question was somehow. How do you mean somehow? I don't think it was somehow. I think it's a question you need to answer from your heart. You see, a murderer isn't just someone that picks a knife or a gun and kills another person. No. Now, brother Emeka's sister died. And grace backslided simply because of the evil testimony someone gave about them. That person is also a murderer. 
And let me tell you, no sinner will go unpunished. Even King David in the Bible did not go unpunished. Here, open to 2 Samuel chapter 12 and read from verses 10 to 14. Okay. 2 Samuel 12, 10 to 14. Yes, 10 to 14. Now, Therefore, the sword shall never depart from the house, because thou hast despised me, and hast taken the wife of Uriah, the Hittite, to be thy wife. Dad! Daddy! Ah, oh, Joshua! What happened? Why did you shout? Where is Mary? She has gone to school. What about dad? He's not here back. Ah, what kind of dream is this? Revelation? Brother Mike. Brother Ushi. Even boy Mika. Grace. The church accountant. What happened to them? That was an angel in form of Mary. She asked me if I'm innocent. Innocent of what? It's none of your business. I'm sorry. I was only trying to help. Thank you. Go away. I hope you're okay. I'm okay. Please, get me some water to drink. Thank you, Jesus. And um, by the way, has Joshua gone? No, ma. Ah, so where is he? He's sleeping. Sleepy? Yes, ma. By this time of the day? Yes, ma. Thank you. Let me check you. Okay. Please help me. Joshua! Please. Joshua! No! Uh, Joshua! Joshua! What is it? Uh, nothing. More. Nothing? And you scream out of your sleep? I'm fine. It's just a dream. It must be a serious dream. Can you share with me some? Oh, Jesus. Oh, please. What is the time? This is just five minutes after four. Ah! After four? Yes. What kind of thing is this? How could I have? How could I have Joshua. a sake? Joshua, calm down, calm down. How could you have done what? Mom, I'm sorry, I need to go. Ah! Joshua! Where are you going? What's going on here? Joshua! Mom, I'm coming. Oh. Joshua, come back here! Joshua! Ah. What is going on in this house? What's wrong with him? Hey, Jesus! I think something is wrong somewhere. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay, don't worry. Let me just wait for, for his father to come back. Take care of that. Mm -hmm. What a pity. See, I feel for that brother. See, probably if I had given him that money, the sister wouldn't have died. Uchi. Uchi, there is no need for you to feel guilty about this. Uh, what has happened has happened. And no one can turn the hand of time. Mike, see, he, wait, is, he, is he aware that he's operating under a curse? I don't know, my brother. I don't know. I don't understand. But you are his closest friend. Not again. Don't tell me not again. No, not but, again. See, Uche. a maker is a fervent brother. Mm. Ah, ah, 
Don't you get it? See, I, I wonder who, I wonder where the, this course of a thing is coming from. What kind of thing are you saying? Do you know him from Adam? Or are you living with him in his house to know what he has done in the secret? You can only speak for yourself. And besides, who knows what he has done in the past? Who knows? That has brought curse upon him. Yes. Remember, curse never operates without a curse. Don't you think we or you can go to him and suggest deliverance? My brother, I can't. I can't. Why? Premika is not serious. He, he is not serious. See, I have discussed this with him, but he said that he has no problem, that there is nothing wrong with him. Yes. He said that he is only going through his wilderness experience. Wilderness experience? Yes, yes that's what he said. So you mean he knows what is happening to him? Yes, of course. He does. He does. Oh. Oh. I pray God will help him. That's our prayer. God will really help him. Help him. But Mike, I've been in your house since. You could not, you could not even give me at least water to drink. See, right now, there is nothing in the house. I don't understand. See, let me tell you, if you really want to eat, you just go to the kitchen, you know your way, and pick it. There is indomie there, you Indomie? Yeah. That is food now? Yes. What? What? Please, please. What is wrong? See, go and get married. Just go and get married. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, my dear. How are you? Hi. Sorry, sister, good afternoon. Good afternoon. What really happened? <laughs> Do I say I found a new life and a new faith where my mind is at rest in worshiping God? And where is the place if I may ask? If I never mind, if I tell you, people won't come. <laughs> Pastor's family. Oh. I understand how you feel. I really try to understand you situation of things but please whatever it is does not want you living the God the Jesus Christ you served and worked for please he loves you come back to him remember what the Bible says called Luke chapter 9 verse 62 he loves you please no it is quite unfortunate I can't come back to that church after receiving the greatest shock of my life from somebody I looked up to as a real mother spiritually <laughs> no sister Grace let me tell you something. Jesus Christ suffered more than this. Yet, he did not despise from the faith. He continued just to achieve what God has accepted the world to do. This is just nothing. It might be just a test of faith. Remember what the Bible reads out in the book of Luke chapter 9, verse 62. Ah, that was Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lords. I am grace, a human being. I can't. Sister Grey, whatever it is that has brought this new life in you does not want your joy and salvation that is going down the drain of destru destruction. It is where well. the Lord will help us. Don't worry, I'll keep praying for you. Okay? Bye bye. Alright, thank you for no, your I'll keep praying for you. Amen. Thank you.
Hi, Grace. Good afternoon. How are you doing? I'm fine. Wow, good to see you. Thank you. How is everything? Everything is doing good. And you? I'm fine. Thanks. So, where are you now? I mean, church, work, where? Well, I worship with Amazing God's Bible Ministry and I work with the Fitness Company. I guess you heard about what happened. Yeah, I did. I honestly did. Mike told me everything, you know. But I needed to hear from the horse's mouth. You know, to know the truth. Well, whatever that pastor heard, I don't know. He called me and gave me a letter saying that the church no longer needs my service. I think that was not enough. He went ahead to say, he ended up saying that the church cannot have a murderer and a wolf among sheep. So I decided to leave the church. I want to cause further embarrassment for myself and the church. So. <laughs> this is quite different from what I heard. And what did you hear? No, not to worry, not to worry. It's not something we can talk about right now. You know, but seeing, looking at you sincerely, honestly speaking, you, you look like someone who has gone out of faith. You know, there are things, there are certain things that happens to a Christian. It is not for them to fall. Even for someone you hold in high esteem? Yes. See, anything can happen to anybody. I mean, everybody. Yes. See, anybody can be used, especially from those who you don't believe it from. See, let me tell you the truth. Human beings are so imperfect. Imperfect. See, I urge you to go back to Christ. I will never forget what happened. I have never been accused of such in my life. I know. But God allowed it to happen to see what you will do. But currently, he will be disappointed with you. Yes. It's too late. I have a new life. A new life? A new life not in Christ? Ah, Sister Grace. Okay, what about the members of the church? Your environment? Those who you led to Christ? What would they think about you? Sister Grace, you need to go back to Christ. Honestly. Please. I've heard you. Good day, Mr. Uchi. No, 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 no. Despite all my efforts. Ah, no, 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 no. No, this is too bad. No. No. Despite what, Joshua? Ah! <laughs> that is it, sir. Actually, I was dancing on the drama I was going to present very soon. Wait, wait, ah! Wait, who are you lying to? Is something wrong with your head? Who do you think you're lying to me? Daddy, please. No. Look, ever since I had the revelation about you, I have set my eyes on you. So now, tell me the truth before I give you another death slap. Daddy. I was not even happily sure. Why? I don't know. I know you should know. You should know because you, your SSC was excellent. Your jam was okay. Even the post jam was okay. So, so what happened? I just checked now. I was not given that mission. Joshua, something is definitely wrong somewhere. There is something you are not telling me, and the earlier you do, the better for you. Lord, I have plead for your mercy. My parents are about finding out things, Lord. Lord, have mercy. So
Darling, I've been waiting for you in the room now. Why are you still here? What is wrong? Dear, I'm disturbed. My spirit is not at rest. Why? Our son, Joshua, is hiding something. I had a serious revelation about him. I'm Brother Mike in church. Brother Mike. In the revelation, both of them broke some eggs. And Joshua covered them with a basket. I saw an angel with Mary's face who brought some food to them. But a black man stopped them from picking the food. He accused them of not obeying the law of the righteous one. He even called them in him, workers of iniquity. The Lord could not see his seal of ownership on them because they were covered with iniquity. Joshua was accused of breaking the covenant of the family and is no longer under the umbrella of God's protection. The Lord told them to drop the bags at their back, which was full of envelopes. Some were opened while some were covered. But as a particular one tagged slander, false witness, and murder. Murder? Ah. I was made to understand that the open envelopes were confessed sins. Why the unopened one were unconfessed sins? Dear, I'm confused. Jesus. My dear, there is nothing to be confused about. The revelation is clear. Ah, you know, egg symbolizes life. And you said there were many eggs that were broken. That means many lives are involved in this. Oh my God. Ah. My roof is leaking. Lord have mercy. Ah, I knew it. Ah. When the Lord showed me the revelation where I saw Joshua carrying a bag on his back and boldly inscribed on the bag was the word iniquity. That was the day I knew that something had gone wrong with Joshua. I knew Joshua was already doing something. But I promise you, darling, I will get to the root of this matter. Joshua will not find it easy with me in this house. He will not find it easy. Ah, I will not be an Eli. No, I will not be an Eli. No child will, 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 will send all my years and labor in the ministry down into the drain just like that. No. Ah, but your son will hear it. Yeah, just calm down. Ah. I know how you feel. But please, just calm down. Mm. Just calm down so that you don't sin against God. Okay. Please. All right. Can we just pray? We should pray. Yes, let's pray. Oh, okay. Pray, God. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Lord, because there's nothing that can be hidden from you. Yes, Lord. Brother Mike. Yes, Pastor. I have called you here for you to tell me everything you know about the issue of Joshua's forged result, one, the issue of Sister Grace, and the issue of Brother Emeka. Pastor, I don't know anything about his forged result. I don't know do anything about Brother Emeka and Sister Grace. Huh? Brother Mike, do you remember the story of Ananias and Sapphira in the book of Acts? I do. Both of them lied to the Holy Spirit and the same people who buried the husband buried the wife. Mm. Don't joke with the Holy Spirit, Brother Mike. Tell us everything you know now. Brother Mike, I have told my parents everything I know about the situation. And I will urge you two to tell them the same because I, you, I don't understand. Sir, he's lying. I don't know anything about it. 
Brother Mike. Ma. The Lord revealed everything to me also in the revelation. So you better say the truth now. To avoid God's wrath upon you. Say, just tell us the truth. Better confess. Pastor, Ma, I am sorry. I was only trying to help him. How exactly were you trying to help him? It all started when... Um, Joshua, bro, Mike. Ever since you came out from the cyber cup, your face has not been bright. What happened? I hope all is well. Bro, Mike, I can't face my dad. I, I can't. I can't. What do you mean you can't face your dad? And by the way, what did you go to the cafe to do? I went to the cyber cafe to check my wire closet, but it was nothing to write home about. I. I I don't know what to do. Let me see the result. Wow. Um, well, I can help you with this. I can help you with this. Oh my God, how? Let me tell you. Do you think it is everybody that are in the university got there with their original results and the thing is that for me to help you it will cost you a lot of money bro bro mike i don't have any money i don't uh, meet your dad my dad can't give me any money without knowing the reason i asked for the money so i i i what about your mom my mom is as strong as my father i see this is really serious um okay what about um meeting the church accountant bro mike what if she refused to give me the money don't bother about that if she refused we will just remove her how hmm, don't worry don't worry about that the thing is just go and meet her first okay i will meet her after church service very good you are talking so please cheer up cheer up it is not a serious situation at all i will help you oh, thank you thank you for my thank you don't worry don't worry hey, mrs agris i need a favor from you what is it i need some money from you to How? do something very important to me. How much? Um, just did 5,000 Naira only. For what? A friend of mine trusted me with that amount and somebody went to my room and went away with it. I don't know how that happened. I don't, I really don't know. Then you should tell your parents because uh, I don't have that amount. My daddy will kill me. Um, Sir, Sir Chris, what about you giving me from the church money? Eh? <laughs> I can't give you from the church person. That's stealing. No, that is not stealing. Like, that is not stealing. You're actually using your position as a church accountant to help. <laughs> then you should tell your father because I am only doing my work. No, no, Sister Grace, please. In that case, I can't help. Ah, no. Sorry, good day. No, Sister Grace. Sister Grace. What do I do now? How do I get this money? Ah. Don't worry. Ah. Bro, Mike. Where were you? Since you said you were to meet her after the service, I decided to wait. And don't worry, I overheard your conversation. But Mike, what do I do now? I don't know. It is not a big deal. We will simply lift her off the office. While we are, we are not the one that put her there, so how do we do so? 
don't worry. Leave that to me. Ah. The only thing I want you to do is cooperate. That's all. Okay, I will, I will. Yeah. Don't worry. Eh? Everything is secured. Eh? Okay. It is well. Yes, come in. The door is open. Good day, Pastor. How are you, Brother Mike? I'm fine, sir. Yes. Sir, someone dropped a letter for you, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Is there a letter of invite? I don't know, sir. This is it, sir. Thank you. No, wait, wait, don't go. Let me go through it. Okay, sir. What? Jesus Christ! Where did you say brought this letter? He's a brother, sir. Is he a member of this church? Um, sir, I don't think so, because I've not seen his face before. My God! This is shocking! Sir, I hope there is no problem. From what I'm seeing here, someone in this church is rubbing the name of the Lord in the mud, and I will not take that. Sir? I will not have it. Ah, uh ah. -uh. You can go, bro, Mike. Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Brother Mike. Yes, Pastor. Even you could do such a thing to me and to my family, despite the way I trusted you. You are my chief. No, no, no. You are the head of the prayer warrior unit now. Abby? Yes, dear. Where did you leave God? Ah. Where have you left the Holy Spirit? From Mike, where did the fear of God depart from your life to this point? Jesus. Mercy. No. God. Joshua. Brother Mika, Brother Uche, yes, Pastor. I've called you here for a very, very important issue. But we are expecting Sister Grace to join us before we kick off the meeting. What, sir? Sister Grace, she's not here yet. I know. But I called her and she promised to be here. But, Pastor, it's true you called her. What if she disappoints? Can't we just postpone this meeting? Ah, uh, no, 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 we can't. This meeting is very, very crucial, Brother Maker. I am sure she will soon be here. Let's just be a little bit patient. In that case, wait for her. Please, let's, let's, let's wait, okay? Ah, here she comes. See? Good day, Pastor. Good day, Sister Grace. How are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you very much for coming. Please have your seat. Now, we can commence this meeting. This meeting is actually to apologize on behalf of my son Joshua and Brother Mike. We want to apologize to Sister Grace and Brother Mika. But they've not done anything wrong to me. Pastor. They have, Brother Nika. They have. Sister Grace, please, I want to beg you. Find the place in your heart to forgive us. Even myself inclusive. Sir, since I came in, you've been talking. And I don't still understand. Even though I was lied against. For something I, I knew nothing of. Forgiveness is of the Lord. Sister Grace, I know I've offended you and offended God. I took a decision carnally. 
And what pains me most is that I've caused the kingdom to lose a soul. Ah, try and forgive me, Sister Grace. What? But, sir, what was it, if I may ask? My son Joshua sat for his SSC, but he failed the vital subject. And this boy did not tell me, neither did he tell his mother. He went to connive. My God. My own son went to connive with Brother Mike to procure forged results. What? Can you imagine? A pastor's son. Now, what pained me most was that they used church money. Church money to procure the first result. He went to Sister Grace to ask her for money. And because she refused to give them the money, they framed her up. What? But sir, he didn't ask me any money for results. But he asked you for money for something else, didn't he? Yes, sir. He said somebody gave him money and the money got missing. So he wanted the money for... It was a lie, Sister Grace. He merely fabricated that story for you. He wanted to use the money to procure forged results. He passed on soon. And after you refused to give him the money, both of them framed you up. Brother Mike, this Brother Mike, he brought a letter to me concerning you. Inside the letter, they said you were pregnant because of fornication. And that you went ahead to abort the pregnancy in order to cover up your sins. Me? Jesus! My God! Brother Mike, how could you? I can't believe this. No wonder I was called a murderer and a wolf among sheep. May God have mercy on you. Please, I am sorry. Forgive me. I don't really know what came over me. Really? You don't know what came over you? I'm also sure you don't know what came over you. When you lied to Brawuchi about Brother Bro Maker. Uh, uh, Bro Mike lied against me? How, Pastor? I don't understand. You remember that you went to Brawuchi to ask for financial help when your sister was in the hospital, right? Yes, I remember. Brawuchi, do you remember that that same day you had a lot of sales in your shop? Yes, sir. It was the doing of the Lord. The Lord blessed your business that day so that you can help your brother in need. But Bro Mike came and lied to you that there is a curse over Bro Maker. And that anyone that helps Bro Maker automatically will partake of the curse through or false. He did. I never knew all this was a lie. Even when she died, you still came to me. We talked. And. He told me that um, the brother is suffering under a curse. And I told him we should go and meet him and talk to him so that he could go for deliverance. Mm -hmm. He bluntly refused and said he was not under a curse. That he was only going through his wilderness experience. I never knew it was all a lie. You mean all these things went on under my nose? And I never knew anything. We talked. We laughed. We sat together in this same church. We called ourselves brothers in Christ. But little did I know that you are a brother in Christ. We're pastor. You said we should forgive. No. I wasn't the one who said so. It was the word of the Lord that said so. 
It was the scriptures that said so, my brother. I know it is not easy, but the Holy Spirit will help you. It will help you. I can't believe my ears. Pastor, after she died, I feel guilty inside of me. My spirit disturbs me. I pray God will forgive me and have mercy on me. Now, Joshua and Bro Mike, do you have anything to say for yourself at this juncture? All I beg is for the forgiveness. And you, Bro Mike, Bohemika, Sister Grace, please forgive me. Forgive me, please. <sighs> Brethren, while I was praying to the Lord for forgiveness and to show mercy over this issue, the Lord said something that shocked me. Oh, mercy. Oh, Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh Oh my God! Oh 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 I Son, your prayer and forgiveness you have been asking over your son Joshua and Mike, your prayer warrior, has been answered and forgiven. Huh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For the wages of sin is death. Even though your prayers have been heard and your sins have been forgiven, there is consequence to every sin committed. This would have been the judgment of the Lord on Joshua. If he had tried and gained admission into the university, he would run mad on his graduation day. But for your sake, mercy has prevailed over judgments in your family. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. As for Mike, he would not get married in the next 25 years because the lady he was supposed to get married to was the lady he failed to give a trap. Ah, oh, mercy Lord, mercy Lord, mercy. That was the judgment of God. Yay, yeah, 25 years. This is too much for me. My ministry has already been destroyed. Ah. I have asked for forgiveness. And if I go for another alternative, that will be my end. Ah! What a great God. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> ah! Sister Grace, please find a place in your heart to forgive me. Sister Grace. Sister Grace, please. Ah, 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 please, sister. Don't need for me. We sin against God. They know me, human. I forgive everybody and I let you. Thank you. That's so sweet. Ah, this is unbelievable. How could Brahma do this to me? Thank God for the judgment of God upon us. 
Let him feel the pain also. Thank God for that judgment of God upon his life. Someone I trusted. The Bible was really right. Eneka, what is wrong with you? Someone I trusted stabbed me at the back. Is that why you are lamenting? Ah, what it did pained me so much. It led to the death of my only sister. And I vowed that I will never forgive him. Why won't you forgive him? Because he lied against me to someone who promised to help me with money to take care of my sister that was sick. Actually, what he did was wrong. But he has asked for your forgiveness. I won't forgive him. If you say you won't forgive him, then let me tell you a story about a great man and his wonderful son. This great man was a judge and the king of the universe. He sent his son to a community to rescue them from their bondage. But instead of them to receive him with open arms, when he told them about his mission, instead of them to welcome him, they rejected him and did a lot of wicked things to him and even killed him in a shameful way because in that community it was an abomination for someone to die on a tree he was killed on a tree hmm. that was wickedness so what did the king do? he did nothing because while his son was dying he asked that his father forgave them. Oh, this is interesting. I would like to meet this king you're talking about. Hmm. Hmm. You can't meet him with that in you. What is that that is in you? Bitterness. I thought I was innocent. There is another one. Another one? Yes. Unforgiveness. These are the things of man that occupies the heart and hinders them from prospering, no matter how prayerful they are. It can also hinder someone from making heaven. Despite that the son was dying, he still asked his father to forgive his murderers. That was Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the judge of the universe, the great king. The Bible says, Forgive us our debts as we forgive men who trespass against us. But if we do not forgive men who trespass against us, our heavenly Father, which is God, would not forgive us our sin. Have mercy on me, O oh God, and forgive me the sins of bitterness and unforgiveness. I am ready to forgive, Ramayk, from my heart. Ah, oh. so it was a dream. Ah, oh. and anyway, I forgive the mic from my heart. I no longer bear any grudge against him. Oh. Oh.